Hey everybody, I am Big C and welcome to Big C TV episode 4. Today's episode, not too much is going on. Um, I just want to give a brief one since it's been almost a week since the last one. Surprisingly, I've actually gone almost a week, so it's this. they're coming pretty quick lately, which is good. I guess I have a lot to talk about or something, not 100% sure. But anyway, I digress. Um, today's episode, we're going to be showing off a few things. I'm going to unbox one of my recent purchases, which if you've read my GameSpot blog, you know what it is. Um, I'm excited about that. And uh, I'm also just going to go over some basic life situations and stuff that's been going on. So, we're going to start things off with something that's a little overdue. Um, I told you in my second episode of Big CTV that um, I received a Christmas package from one of my friends that I was not going to open until later. Um, I also mentioned that I would be showing what I would get from that package and I totally forgot to. I'm not going to show all of it, but I'm going to show a couple things. So we're going to start off with late Christmas presents. Let's go. Okay. So, these are a couple with um, with downtown Disney during my Disney college program. She's from Chicago, well, Illinois. But, um, so that's why these things are the way they are. But I got, just to show a few things off, Chicago shot glass. It's pretty cool. I don't actually have any shot glasses, so that'll be useful. I need to get more. And the other one, which is really cool, I like this a lot, is a snow loop. So yeah, I also got a postcard and a Christmas ornament out of that as well. So thank you to Sarah for your present. It was awesome. And I'm glad you liked the one I sent you, if you're watching this. Yay. She might be. Never know. Um... So yeah, that's the late Christmas present. So now I'm going to go to recent purchases. We'll talk about a couple things I got yesterday. Recent purchases time. Okie dokie. So, yesterday, as if you've read my GameSpot blog, um, I went to Best Buy. Did not intend to buy anything. Funny how that turns out. I never end up not buying something when I mean not to. So, got a couple things that were pretty good deals actually. Um, so I'll show you those. The first of which is a movie that I really enjoyed last year. I've only seen it once. I cannot wait to see it again. And it's a very good movie. The Social Network on Blu-ray. Um, Again, really good movie. If you haven't seen The Social Network, you should. It's a very, very well done film. Very thoughtful, provoking. Very interesting that it's a it's this historical drama about Facebook, which didn't happen too long ago. So definitely watch that, especially if you're very hardcore into Facebook and you want to know how it was made or the whole process of the controversy behind the founding of Facebook. Um, you'll want to check that out. I got The Social Network for a basically $17 on sale on Blu-ray, which is pretty good. It was actually on sale this week as it came out, so uh, that was a pretty good deal. I'm very happy with that. The next one, which is the one I'm really excited about, and it's the one I will be unboxing shortly, is this. The Fable 3 Limited Collector's Edition for 360. Now, as you already know, I'm sure, I already have Fable 3. Why did I shell out more money to buy the Collector's Edition? Well, first of all, it was only $30 at Best Buy. Which was odd since the regular edition was $40. So it's pretty obvious they're trying to liquidate them all. Second of all, I've always wanted the Collector's Edition of Fable 3, and unfortunately it was too late to pre-order it. So now I have it, and I can take advantage of all the goodies that are included, which there's a lot. And I'm going to show those off to you now. So we're going to unbox 
the Fable 3 Collector's Edition right now. Okay, so this of course is our second unboxing feature because I unboxed the Grand Theft Auto 4 um, Collector's Edition on a previous version of Big C TV, the one before the one we're doing now. So let's unbox this, shall we? First, we're going to pull off the cover, which is a cool cover. And you get a book that has the guild seal on it. Now that's kind of cool. Looks like a leather book. Undo the hatch right here. And in it, what should be in it? Why the game, of course! What else would be in the giant book case of Fable 3? So if you look at the game, it's in this kind of cheap plat black plastic box. I'm probably going to switch out the boxes from my regular edition since I have the green box. Get that. Yield seal on the back. You open it up. Everything's the same except I also, in addition to getting in the regular game, the typical if you buy it new you get this downloadable content, you get two new ones I'm going to include. The first is the Best Buy exclusive weapon, the channeler, and the crystal tattoo set. Code for that. So I'll have not only the GameStop one, but I'll also have the Best Buy one, which is cool. So I'll have lots of cool weapons to mess around with in Fable 3, which I still haven't beaten it, so I'm sure I'll be taking advantage of that. The other one, which is the main reason why I've wanted the Collector's Edition. Limited Collector's Edition code that includes, let's see, the Hunter's Lodge region, which is a new region for the game, where you can get a unique outfit and a new dog breed and the Wolfbane quest, where you can find the legendary Sir Ward Wolfbane. So there you go. New quest, new region, new outfit, new dog breed, all sorts of good stuff. And I got an extra sword tattoo set. So, yeah, lots of more special goodies for Fable 3. Which is exactly why I wanted the Collector's Edition. But wait, could there be more to this than meets the eye? Actually, there is. If you look right here. Oh, a secret compartment. Open that up. And there's some bonuses inside. The first. There's a double-sided guild seal coin. It includes blue and red coloring. It's a modeled after the guild seal, of course. That's really cool. The other, as soon as I can get it out, there we go, is a Fable 3 deck of playing cards. Now, I haven't actually taken a look at those yet. I just opened it. But um, that's pretty cool. So now I've got a Fable 3 deck of playing cards, in addition to all the other various forms of playing cards that I have. So yeah, that is the Fable 3 Collector's Edition, unboxed. Sorry, moving things around. Alright, we're going to end things with a peek into what's going on in Chris's world. Take it away. Alrighty, so this week was the first week of my new classes. Finished those up yesterday, aka Tuesday. Um, I really like them. I think they're going to be good classes. Um, my first two are basic film classes, so... Um, you go to class, you watch a movie, you discuss it, maybe you write a paper on it or something. Pretty, pretty standard film classes. The last two are a bit more tricky which is one thing I'm a little worried about because I don't have that much free time considering I work a lot and I don't live by campus. Um, the third class on Mondays, I have to make a series of short films with a crew. So I'm hoping I get people on my crew who are understanding that I have a very limited schedule and that I don't live around the area so that uh, they can be understanding with that. 
Um, if I can get someone who's willing to do that, then I think I'll be in good shape. My other one, which I've dropped before, which it was just due to the fact that I'm not a big like painter or artist. I'm an artist with a camera, but not an artist with like drawing things. Um, I have to make visual medium. I have to come up with these strange like designs using the computer, which I I'm gonna give it a shot again. I'm sure. I mean, I have to pass it. It's a required class. I don't want to, but um, I've taken it with a professor who I actually got through an entire semester with, so I think uh, I at least know the professor pretty well, and I think it'll be a good class. I'm just hoping I can get everything done on time, but um, there's a lot of work, but it also means each thing is not worth that many points, so I'm going to sit and do my best and hope everything turns out well. So. And I'm still at Mission Space this week. Um, next week I will be too, although I wasn't scheduled any hours. So um, I'm probably just going to have to assemble my own schedule, which will be nice. Um, try to give myself a few days off, probably. I know I got at least one shift that I'm probably going to be picking up, I think, on Sunday, and then the rest of the week, who knows. So we'll see what happens. Um, probably going to have some decent amount of time off, though, next week. So that is going to do it for this episode of Big CTV. Um, thank you all for watching. Um, next week, what I would like to do is start up the Q&A session again. I know I tried that before with my early, early episodes of Big CTV back on GameSpot, but um, I'm interested in bringing that back. So if you have a question that you would like to ask me for a future episode of Big CTV, Post it as a comment to this episode on YouTube. Or if you're a fan of Big CTV on Facebook, and the link is below right now, um, post it there and just say it's a question for Big CTV, and I will answer as many of them as I can, or as many as I get, depending on how many I get. So yeah, post those, and hopefully I'll have uh, some questions for a Q&A session next, uh, next episode. And yes, we're still working on those end-of-the-year episodes. They're just not coming along as well as we thought they were going to. I thought I'd have them out by now. Um, need some time off to work on them. So that might be one thing that happens next week when I have not that many hours is I'll buckle down and make those episodes. So look for those. Those are still coming. They're not canceled. Anyway, that's going to do it for Big CTV. I'm Chris, and I'll see you later. Thank you for watching, and uh, see you next time. It's never too late.